Jack and the Cloud Surfer, the Beanstalk Twist. Jack wasn't your typical farmhand. He dreamt of soaring above the clouds, not milking cows. One rainy morning, a peculiar peddler arrived at their market. This man didn't sell vegetables or trinkets. He traded in shimmering, rainbow-colored beans. These beans, he croaked, voice like rustling leaves, can take you to the most wondrous places, places that touch the clouds. Jack, unable to resist the allure, traded his family's prized sack of potatoes for a handful of the beans. His grumpy mother wasn't impressed. Beans for potatoes? Now we'll have nothing but soup for supper, she grumbled. Undeterred, that night Jack planted the beans near their ramshackle barn. The next morning, he found a sight that made his eyes pop. A magnificent, swirling cloud had sprouted from the ground, its edges tinged with all the colors of the rainbow. This wasn't a beanstalk, but a cloud surfer. With a racing heart, Jack climbed onto the cloud, tickled his feet and smelled like cotton candy. Up he went, higher and higher, until the world below shrunk to a tiny patchwork quilt. He emerged into a breathtaking world, fluffy clouds stretched as far as he could see, and playful, cotton ball creatures bounced around him. Suddenly, a giant, iridescent butterfly with wings the size of sails landed in front of him. Well, hello there, little human. It boomed in a surprisingly gentle voice. What brings you to Cloudland? Jack explained how the beans led him here. The butterfly, who introduced herself as Luna, laughed. Those beans were meant for a friendly cloud sprite. You're the first human to ever visit Cloudland. Jack spent the day exploring with Luna. They flew through shimmering cloud castles, raced mischievous thunderclouds, and even had a picnic with fluffy cloud sheep who grazed on rainbows. But as the sun started to set, a tinge of worry filled Jack. How would he return home? Luna, sensing his worry, explained, The beans only work one way, but fear not. I have an idea. She led him to a hidden cloud pond and told him to dip his hand in. When he did, a single, shimmering feather materialized in his palm. Hold on to this, she instructed. It will help you find your way back. With a heavy heart, Jack said his goodbyes and jumped off the cloud. The feather glowed, guiding him safely back to Earth, landing him softly in his familiar farmyard. He rushed inside, overflowing with stories of his amazing adventure. Though sad to leave Cloudland behind, Jack knew one thing for sure, his farm life wouldn't be the same. He still worked hard, but now his heart held the memory of a world beyond the clouds, a reminder that even the most ordinary beings can lead to extraordinary adventures.